So today we'll talk about the squash vine borer. I had uh, a couple squash plants here that just will, were not growing well, were struggling no matter the amount of water. Thought it was an issue with the soil. Looked at it a little closer and you saw the indicative signs that there is a squash, squash vine borer problem. So they were pretty much shooed through. The stem was gone, so I just pulled them up, put a couple pumpkins here. Uh, but today I'll show you a way, at least that's on YouTube, of how to deal with this. So there's a few different ways of doing it. One, you just don't notice, you just let it die. Uh, two, you can actually perform surgery right on the stem, open it up, find them, pull them out. They're just little larvae. It's, it's a moth that lays its eggs at the base of the stem. And then as the eggs hatch, they do the little babies bore into the stem and then eat the insides and continue to grow until the plant dies and then it turns into a moth. So I've done the stem method, uh, but I was doing it on too many of the plants that it just became not really sustainable. Plus it's not really easy to just kind of cut and open up and find where they are because not only can they get in here, but they can also move up and down. So, uh, but online people are using BT and some people spray but I'm seeing other people use syringes to inject your BT solution directly into the plant so BT is just a little bacteria so as the squash vine borer is eating it will consume some of these it will get into their intestines stomachs whatever they have inside them and it will kill them as they continue to eat and grow inside the plant so you, you can survive the plant can survive um, and uh, never really done this before so I don't know if it is you have to put it in the beginning of the season or it still is effective once you have an infestation so if you look at your plant and it looks like there's sawdust at the bottom you have vine borers on the inside and you can even see the stem the stem looks all right here but you can see the stem is turning colors you can't really tell but this whole bottom side is empty uh, because it's bored through everything so squash plants are pretty resilient that they'll keep going uh, even if the stem itself is pretty in a pretty crappy condition so what i do because i don't know where they are I just pull back everything and I just take this little metal poker and I make holes. And I just make a few holes just on the inside so I can just squirt enough so it stays within the plant itself. And then I do the holes up and down, one to see that the liquid is actually getting inside and then one to just keep going down the line. So if you just take your needle and jab it in, it kept coring the needle. So that's why I was stabbing with the little metal guy, just to make things simpler. So see when I push it out, it's coming out the other end. So I know it's moving up and down the stem. And again, you don't know where these guys are. So the bacteria will grow inside. But I just want to make sure they're there. Never done this before. I don't know how effective it is. I know I have vine borers in pretty much all of my plants. So they will die anyways. So I figured I'd give it a shot. From what people are saying, once you do this, you have coverage of your plants throughout the whole year. And you don't have to worry about any other mitigation strategies. You can cut back these leaves and then put tape around the base of the stem. Uh, so that stops the moth from laying eggs. I'll probably do that just as another layer. Uh, so I'll probably cut back everything, tie up the, the stem. Um, but BT you can buy online, you can buy on Amazon, you can buy a concentrate of it, and that bottle will probably last you years. I don't know how effective it is. Uh, you just splash a little in a bottle, dilute it up with uh, some water, and it's pretty simple, uh, pretty easy. Hopefully it's effective because if not, all these plants are gonna die. So we'll see how this goes certainly something worthy of a try given the infestation.